Good morning. We are live from Mrs. Yurechka's fifth grade classroom, and they are going to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance today. So everyone, please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now, our Nathan Hale Pledge. We are Nathan Hale Patriots. We are respectful. We are responsible. We are safe. All right, well, good morning today on this cold day. It is Monday, December 19th, 2016, and the cafeteria is serving a very fun nachos with salsa and refried beans. We have some birthdays today. We'd like to wish a very happy birthday today to Guadalupe Martinez. And on the 26th, because we are out of school on Wednesday, so we want to announce the rest of December's birthdays. So on the 26th, it will be Evan Plemons' birthday. On the 27th, we have Parker Janiga and Felicia Maldonado. And on the 28th, it will be Griselda Gonzalez. And the 29th, it will be Veronica Hampton. All right. For Math Monday, your question is, estimate how many, it's not really an estimate because there is an actual number, but estimate how many countries you think there are in the world that Santa has to visit in one night. So again, put your guesses in the box of the foyer and we'll announce the winner tomorrow. But how many countries do you think there are in the world that Santa will have to visit on Christmas Eve? So put your name and your guess in the box and we will announce those tomorrow. Now we have some students from Mrs. Retchko's class that are going to share some persuasive pieces, right? Last time we were here, they were sharing one of the trait songs for us. So we get to hear some more great writing from them. So we are going to start with Joseph. We have been working on writing persuasive essays. The purpose of persuasive writing is to convince someone to do or believe something. An essay should have an introduction, a body, and a conclusion. The introduction of a persuasive essay should include your position statement. This is what you are trying to convince someone to do or believe. The body of your essay should tell and explain the reasons that you support your position. You should have, have three reasons to support your position and write a paragraph about each one. Each reason should be supported with facts, examples, and text evidence. The conclusion of your essay should restate your position on the issue. It should also call your reader to action. We have been writing essays either for or against keeping animals in zoos. The title of my essay is Zoos, Should They Stay? We should keep animals in zoos because zoos are educational, entertaining, and help save animals. The title of my essay is Misbehave Zoo. We should not keep animals in zoos because they can get zoocosis, Animals live longer in the wild, and they need more space. This is what we learned about persuasive writing. Great job this, um, this morning, sharing all of their great writing. And each student, of course, wrote their own persuasive essay. And I know that all of our grades I see, it's not just it's a process for them to think about what is your stance, what is your um, what you're trying to persuade the other person to do. But also, and the important thing is having evidence and reasons, and just those um, two Examples that they gave were great ones. So I love that they're working hard and getting ready because in just a few months, we're also going to have a chance to show all of this great writing um, when you take the I step. So I love that you can use it. It is important to know for when we're doing tests and I step to show what you know, but also this time of year, you know, my daughter had to write a persuasive to Santa on why uh, Santa needs to stop at our house. Because right now, it's like could go either way, and I'm probably writing on the other end of it. So um, she's trying to persuade uh, Santa why he should stop at our house. And I'm not sure how persuasive and how good her reasons will be. So maybe she should have Mrs. Retchko's students help her with it. But uh, great job sharing, and we look forward to seeing uh, what Ms. Kazilla will be sharing next week with us. But thank you, Mrs. Retchko's class, and everyone have a great Monday.